kind of touched upon this, but would love to for you to just deep dive a little bit more on the benefits of taking a functional medicine or, or a whole body approach to women's health specifically. Um, well, we'll kind of just let you take it off here, but would love to kind of hear about like how you view the benefits of, of taking that approach. Absolutely. So it really, the human body is amazing and it constantly blows my mind how complex it is. And, and a lot of times when I meet with a woman for the first time and we're, she's coming to me for hormones and we start checking in on, you know, migraines and neurological things. And we're checking in on her gut health and is she having regular bowel movements and it seems yeah. very unrelated, but uh, the truth is that everything does impact everything. And the deeper you get into medicine, you understand how everything's so interconnected. Mm -hmm. uh, if our thyroid is sluggish, we can't digest our food. We have low stomach acid. If that happens, we aren't assimilating nutrients. We get nutrient deficiencies. We end up not making neurotransmitters and impacts our mood. I mean, everything is connected. It's so interconnected. And so um, what we've done to a fault in medicine is that we've created a system where you know you go see a neurologist if you have a uh, problem with the brain a central nervous system and you go see a GI doctor if you have issues with GI and while that can be a benefit because they do specialize in that area what they can tend to do is uh, not assess all other aspects of that person which yeah. is really crucial. So when I look at hormones, I am assessing so many other pieces. Uh, I do sometimes run, we could talk about testing in a bit, but I run other panels looking at neurotransmitter levels, uh, yeah. looking at cortisol levels throughout the day. So what's the stress hormones doing? What's your sleep cycle like, right? What's your circadian rhythm? We can map that out. And that plays such a big impacting literally everything in a woman's body or thyroid or sex hormones or estrogen or progesterone or testosterone her yeah. sleep i mean cortisol just uh, going through a stressful period can really throw a woman into a lot of hormonal havoc and it's a very very common experience i went through it myself in med school yeah. so yeah. so yeah i think it uh it is you know taking a whole body approach seeing how every system does impact the other and uh and a root cause approach so we aren't going to suppress we're not just trying to get rid of the symptom for you. We're trying to figure out really what's driving all of these symptoms to happen. Cause those are all your body speaking to you intelligently asking for help. And so uh, testing and using some of the functional labs. So we assess labs from a different lens than maybe a conventional yeah. practitioner would. Yeah. yeah. So talk a little bit about testing, but we have yeah. a different range um, so a good example is like vitamin D. I like to see that from 60 to 80 nanograms per deciliter. And a lot of times that would be lower potentially in a, uh, in a different practitioner's lens, but there is a functional lens that we're looking through. That's, uh, you know, the, the standard values, if you go to a lab core or a quest lab, they're really broad. So they're from the most unhealthy person to the really, really, really healthy person. They're very broad. And so a, can, a functional approach is to kind of narrow that down, say, what's the, op, what's the optimal? What is a really optimally healthy person? Where should their lab range be? Absolutely. And, yeah. And so we, we assess the lab ranges from a different uh, point of view, which allows us to catch things before they get serious. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a huge advantage. I mean, I've caught things on patients' labs that, you know, could have been ominous had they've been screened through a broader lens and and somebody just kind of overviewed their labs it all looked normal and they and they had a ton of symptoms and we looked at it through a functional lens we drew we had some functional labs so i run kind of different panels of labs that mm -hmm. differ from even just blood labs although i sometimes do that so yeah. we can talk about some of those uh, lab yeah. testing that we use in natural medicine and functional medicine